Goals are important. They're, we're not going to sugarcoat that. Every single person that we talk to, is a successful person, is goal-oriented. They have goals of their own. They have goals for their company that their their employers or their boards or whoever it is sets for them. And, and they're important. But the, where, where they stand out is that they're not viewing those goals as finish lines. They're viewing those goals as mile markers. And, and the reason for that is, uh, is uh, there's a handful of reasons for that. One is they know what happens when you get to a point where you know a goal is coming up and you know you're not going to reach it. That's where a lot of the sales behavior for, for the salespeople specifically that gives the stereotype the bad name, that's where that comes from because you're getting to the end of the month and you're not going to hit your quota. And then you start to do things and say things and act in a way that maybe is not how you would authentically do it if you didn't have that pressure. So that's a big part of, of why you know they, they look at goals as not enough. The second piece is that, and we've all experienced this, you hit a goal, right? You've, you've been working, you, you, you're trying, you've defined this goal, you work towards it, time has passed and you've achieved this goal. Now what happens? That's it? You're happy forever? No, right? You, you know that you then have to go out and set the next goal. Because of that, I think a lot of these people that we spoke to, we realized they understood that. And so because they were viewing goals as mile markers, they needed something else that was sort of the finish line, whether it was a, a real finish line or an ephemeral finish line. And that for them was their purpose. And it wasn't something that we started out looking for or asking about, but we realized pretty quickly in these conversations that we were having with very successful people that they were leading the conversations with their purpose. Like we were, we had a conversation with the uh, chief marketing officer of a massive global tech company and literally 37, 38 seconds into the recording of our interview, as we're going back and reviewing it, he's telling us his purpose and he's telling us how it's driven his career and the people that he works with and the decisions that he makes. And we were just blown away by that because, at, and of course we start seeing it over and over again. So what people are doing, what these people are doing, these unsold sellers is they have their goals and their goals are important, but they're tying those goals to a larger purpose. So that when they don't hit them, or even when they do, and they know they have to set another one, they realize that they're progressing towards something that's bigger and more important and more meaningful to them. I also think it changes you, like when you create your purpose. You know, like in our keynotes, we ask people, like, hey, raise your hand if you have goals, and everyone raises their hand. And then we're like, okay, only keep your hand up if you also have them like written down somewhere and you look at them every day. And like half the hands go down, but the hands that are up are still really proud. And then we're like, okay. Now, only keep your hands up if in addition, in addition to having your goals articulated and you look at them every day, you also have your purpose articulated and you look at it every day. And most every hand like sheepishly goes down except for like one or two. We're like, all right, you know what? If you have your purpose articulated, you can put your hand back up even if it's not written down and like no hands go up. And there's only these two people in the room. Like there's thousands of people and there's, there's always a few hands left and you're just looking at them and they're the top performers. They're the CEOs. They're the entrepreneurs. Like they're the ones that risked it, risked it all, right? And got to the other end and like have these like battle scars and are so purpose-driven that that's the only reason that they got there. And you see, you know what these people look like, you know, like not to get too like emotional, but you've been in a room with someone that like has magnetic energy. You know, people are like, what is that? What is it about that person, right? That like everyone's gravitating towards. Normally they have their purpose articulated and they see it in you. Like AJ, like it was a vibe, even if you hated me, because like you're helping me like, like articulate my purpose to the world, right? Like I see my purpose in you, right? I am going to treat you differently, even if I don't know you. Like the only other reason why like I could feel magnetic in a room full of strangers and, and like gravitate towards someone is if I've already written down my purpose, it's pretty easy to recognize a purpose-driven person. Right? Like you like real recognizes real, you know what I mean? But it's not magic. It's not a law of attraction. 